Hello friends, Alan Matei with BNB Bookkeeping Services. And today I want to talk to all the real estate investors, Airbnb owners, people that are buying property. And I want to talk to you about you could be saving a lot more. You can be paying a lot less in taxes with your investments. And the way the way to do this is through something called depreciation. Now, hopefully you're all taking year after year, you're taking your depreciation into account and you're paying much less in taxes that, that whatever income you're getting from your investments, that is able to be uh, reduced by the depreciation on paper so that you're paying much less in taxes, right? Now, one thing, one little extra step that you could take so that you could save a lot more in taxes is to do a cost segregation study. Now, first we need to understand what depreciation is. Depreciation is simply uh, what you consider to be the life of an asset, how much a certain asset is going to have the life of an asset, right? So whatever that is, let's say for residential real estate, that is 27.5 years, you take the value of the building, which is actually taking out the land value because land is not depreciated, but you take the building value and then you divide that out by 27.5 and that will give you your yearly depreciation that you can claim so that you can reduce uh, your taxable income there. Now, the extra step that you could be taking, you should be taking, is to do a cost segregation study so that you can divide between what is the actual value of the building as opposed to the value of the fixtures and other things that might be considered involved that are not necessarily part of the building. It's not part of the property, it's just something that is um, that can be separated out you can consider it as your personal property as opposed to real estate property these fixtures these things that are apart that are separated from the actual building they usually have a much shorter lifespan than the asset itself and so you can depreciate it at a much faster rate so let's say maybe you can depreciate it at a rate of five years or seven years or 10 years. Well, that's much better than 27.5 years. So why not do it? So let me give you some examples. We're going to dive right into two examples. What it would be like if you did the straight line depreciation versus if you actually went ahead and did a cost segregation study and you applied it to your investment. Here we have real estate investor James and we have this property purchase price $320,000 and we have the property value which is subtracting the land value at $280,000. Now the income for this property is $35,000 yearly. The operating expenses $8,000. We have now two ways to depreciate this property. If we go with the straight line depreciation, we go with about $10,181, which leaves us with a taxable income of $16,819. That would amount to about $5,045 dollars in taxes yearly. Now, we want to find out what the tax savings would be if we did a cost segregation study. If we think that we could take 70,000 out of that 280,000 dollar of the property, the property value, we could take that 70, 70,000 and we could depreciate over seven years. 
we would get $10,000 additional depreciation yearly. Now, that would give us a pretty big, pretty big uh, deduction here. We, our depreciation goes up to $20,181. Our taxable income goes down to $6,819. And our taxes end up being $2,000. $45 for a total tax saving of $3,000 yearly over seven years you will be saving $3,000 for seven years just because you did this cost segregation study so there you go just so you know there are two ways uh, to do the cost segregation study one is through an engineer and the other is through a CPA and usually the IRS considers the engineering method more accurate so just so you know you might want to consider that or go either way whichever you think is best whichever advisor you can find that you think will do a good job and that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and if you liked it, make sure to put a like on it. Make sure to share it uh, to someone you might think that can get a lot of value from it. To, to a real estate investor, to an Airbnb owner that you might know. Alright, thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next video.